Gun Griffin Blades is a hard game to really critique, as there are some really cool features, but it's so short it ends up being a highly underwhelming mech game that could have been something very special. Maybe wondering how short this game is, well, you just have 6 missions, each going for 10 minutes each. There is no multiplayer of any sort, half the missions are pretty crap, and unlike something that's similar to Mech Warrior, it has very little customization, and what you can customize is minimal at best. The game is set in a first person view and has a very odd control layout. One thumbstick controls the camera while the other the movement. Simple stuff, but to turn left or right you need to face the camera left or right. They are not bad, but it does take a bit of time before you can quickly orient yourself. Now while half the game is rubbish, the other half is good. The first few missions have you blowing away enemy defenses and really just causing all out havoc. During these missions, everything has a fun arcade feel to it, picking up ammunition and health is easy, and there's plenty of carnage to see on screen. Then you get to the other half of the game, where every mission just breaks down to escort missions. You protect a bunch of allies from getting destroyed by hordes of demons, then you have an awful level in Ukraine where you have to protect helicopters that are weak and have no defenses from being whacked out from a massive onslaught of tanks and other gunships. <sighs> And you have to do this for 10 minutes, which may not sound like much until you have to keep on redoing the same mission over and over again. The last mission has you set in the desert with heavily powered enemies and very little health. It sucks, but what's worse, you're on a time for every mission, that being 10 minutes. So you can't just sit back and take it casually, you have to complete your objectives fast. The game lacks any sort of map or pointer to tell you where you're going, and since some missions require to destroy some specific enemies that look like the random forces that keep on respawning, all the while you're protecting your allies with little health and the time limit. Yeah, starting to see my problem? The game likes to screw you over having you pick up bonus parts for the next mission. These perks are actually pretty cool, but if you fail the mission, you lose any bonus equipment you had used. So yes, the game gets harder the more you fail. It's a real shame that it ends up being anything other than a mediocre game. But hey, it does have a cheap price tag, and there's some really nice music, including the main theme. So yeah, I can't recommend Gun Griffin, but there's so many other decent mech games like Battle Engine Aquila or Slave Zero.